I feel great. I'm very thankful. Obviously, it's always better to win a close one than to lose a close one. And we've won some close ones before. Uh, this is a great win. Uh, obviously, the country is looking at people in elected office. And uh, tonight, uh, we won a big win in our primary. I look forward to the race in November with Dr. Hedrick. And I look forward to going back to Congress for a third term to represent the great people of the 3rd District of Tennessee. There are so many different dynamics that are out there. Uh, we had a lot of local races in some of the rural counties in the north. I was very pleased that we won Hamilton County. Uh, it was a great win here. Uh, we won Bradley County. Uh, we actually tied in one county, big county in the north. Uh, the voters are concerned about the direction that America is going in. I'm concerned about the direction that America is going in. Uh, I'm just glad that I was chosen tonight as the candidate to go for it. Mostly, I think Shelby and I want to talk to the 43,000, I think by the end of the night, maybe the 45,000 people in East Tennessee who went to the polls today and they voted for a 27-year-old and his pretty wife who frankly don't look or act anything like most people in American politics. Uh, there were a lot of people across the country who I think thought we were crazy for thinking you could run in a Republican primary, talk about the two parties working together, talk about civility, talk about how awesome our country is without talking bad about other people. And so it's, uh, it's pretty amazing that we are going to show the country tonight it's possible. Uh, I think the difficult lesson that the 45,000 and the small minority, uh, the difficult part for us is that we got to speak louder. Because obviously our country is worth fighting for. It's worth participating in this process for. But right now, more than ever, it looks like it's slipping away. And uh, I've said from the beginning that my generation doesn't have the luxury of being cynical or giving up. And that's why we ran again. That's why we put in more elbow grease in seven months of this campaign than I think I could have ever imagined. And she was a champ to tolerate it. And, uh, and so, again, to the massive amount of people in East Tennessee, thank you. Because you stood with uh, a movement albeit a regional movement that is so different from the dysfunction in Washington. And I think we did it the right way. Uh, unfortunately, people in the coming days may say that this proves that negative campaigning still works. Uh, there will be a lot of different ways to analyze what happened here. Uh, I'm really grateful. I don't know what the final numbers look like all over this district. I'm extremely grateful to the people in some counties, ah, gosh, 200 miles from here on the Kentucky border that it appears that we might have won. They're counties that my dad never even represented in Congress, so they don't really know the Womp family. And, uh, and so, you know, a lot of y'all in Chattanooga haven't been on that side of the district with us, but it's pretty amazing given that uh, our hope tonight was that our home county would carry us through, that uh, in fact it looks like in some cases we ran the strongest, the furthest from here. And uh, obviously I could go all night thanking certain people. I do want to say thank you even though I was really disappointed with uh, the results in our home county tonight. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful to the people in the media in this county because I think they've got guts. And when I say the media, I'm talking about the Chattanooga Times Free Press. I'm talking about the people that write for the Chattanoogan. I'm talking about talk radio because they knew how important this race was. They knew how different the purposes of the campaigns were and the attitudes of the campaign. And I just really appreciate, even though it didn't go our way in this county, I really appreciate them bringing to the forefront what we were really about and giving us a platform, uh, regardless of age or whatever thing that we couldn't control, giving us a platform to really talk about the things we care about. And so I didn't want to leave this thing uh, open-ended for the rest of the night. I want to come down here and thank you all because uh, I think we've just got a tremendous body of work to be proud of. And uh, nobody can say, for what it's worth, that um, this can't be done. Nobody can say that an independent candidate who refuses any labels can't win a Republican primary because we got so doggone close that um, just a few breaks here or there and we'd have probably pulled this race out. And so my message to young people who did vote, kind of got lazy at five o'clock and didn't vote, is this is our country. The generation above us isn't showing the leadership that will make this place worth living in 50 years from now. So let's step up. Let's begin to step up and show more and more leadership. And I hope this campaign inspires people to see that it can be done. And so with that, thank you all. We're going to head home in a little while. And regardless of any political outcome, 
Uh, Shelby and I are going to wake up tomorrow morning as expectant parents, uh, a whole lot more excited about the rest of our life than we are disappointed about the last seven months. <laughs>